that tree has been there. But the day Satan, that is how it is. A lady can be around you for long. The day Satan now use the lust of the eye to get your attention. You now say, Kai, I don't know, say, find downside there. The point come, you start telling her, don't call me brother. Call me a Bobby. <laughs> oh, you are not aware? What Satan we used to bring you down is not usually far from you. It's things that are close to you. He will not use something far from you. Satan, if Satan wants to bring you down as a brother in the fellowship, he will not use a prostitute, he will use a sister. And it's very simple, he will just tune your eye towards the sister. This sister has been there, you will not know she has been there until the lost is being torn. I say, wow, fairest among the damsels. Oh, I need to help you to know God more. That is how it comes. Sir. That is how it comes. Do you know the lady called her guy? She was part of the things that were given to Abraham when he went to Egypt. When they gave, are you, can you still remember Abraham now? Yes, sir. Can you remember Sarah? Yes, sir. Can you remember Hagar? Yes, sir. There was a point that Abraham experienced famine in the land of Canaan. He now moved down to Egypt. And I've noticed that anytime the children of God goes down to Egypt, it's because of food. He now moved down to Egypt. And when he was moving down to Egypt, he told the wife, you know these Egyptian people, they like fine, fine women. When we get there, tell them you are my what? You are my sister. Don't tell them that you are married. Tell them you are my sister. Because if they know that I'm married, they will kill me so they can marry you. But if you tell them that you are my sister, they'll give me money and marry you. Man of God, Abraham. Hey, the, and he's a prophet too. So he went down to Egypt. And so he said, hey, he's, my, he's my sister. My distant cousin. <laughs> he said, welcome, welcome. He started settling him. God now went to the king of Egypt. Don't touch that girl! He's the wife of my servant. He said, look at it. It was my integrity. I didn't touch her. He said, return the girl. And don't just return the girl. Return with a lot of gifts. Part of the gift that the Egyptian king gave to what? Abraham was who? The time they gave Haggai, Haggai was without breast. Haggai was just nine years old. Meanwhile, it was that gift he collected from Egypt that is giving us problem to today. The, I'm telling you that your temptation will not come from something far. It will come from where? With the, that is Satan. He does not tempt you with something that is far. And most men that want to live correct life, they are always careful with the people around them. If you put weak people around you, you will always be falling and rising. A point came. How can I start growing? Started entering puberty. This guy will go and pray in tongues and see Haggai with her and say, Save your kakabwa. He was struggling with that thing until one morning after a square time. Sarah and I said, I'm tired of this barrenness. Can you go to my daughter? Can you go to our daughter, Haggai? Abraham said, I wanted to tell you things, but. If I say it, you think I'm not a serious believer. The spirit is one. <laughs> Are you with me here now? Yes, so I wanted to tell you things, but if you look at that scripture, she, Abraham gave you revolt. That was not that he said, let me go ask God. Immediately enter into what? Haggai. Haggai now gave birth to something that is transgenerational problem. Do you see the problem they cost in Canon? Oh, you didn't know that the Islamic race came from that guy. See, today, if Abraham is in heaven, he's not enjoying his happiness because of that mistake he made. I'm telling you. Because many of you don't know that sin has consequence. That mistake he's made is the reason why this guy, they are fighting. Today, they are killing innocent Christians. See, today. So, what I'm bringing to your notice in today's service is that Satan will not tempt you from something that is what? If you want to live a correct life, work on people that are close to you. Work on people that are close to you. Even Jesus, when Satan came to tempt him, it was the stone that, he was, that was around him. He came with the same principle. If you are the son of God, turn what? 
Oh my God. Very powerful temptation. That was the same temptation that Eve fell for. Because it was a temptation of food. And Jesus had the power to turn stone to bread. But if he has done it, it would have been rebellious against God. Because God was not the one giving the instruction. And in the name of the Spirit, to anyone you yield to him, you are a servant to. Jesus told him, man shall not what? So you notice that the temptation of Jesus was something within him. And I'm saying to somebody, as Satan will not tempt you more than what is what? Within you. So if you want to be strong, people within you must be strong. Look at you now. How come a, an unbeliever is your closest friend? If Satan wants to get you, that is the person he will used to get. When you see someone force in faith today, it's because people around us, they are strong people. Strong people. I mean, people in our closest circle. There are places in my life that nobody can enter except you are strong. Because all of us are not strong in ourselves. It's only the grace of God and discipline that keeps us strong. The Bible said, let the weak say, I'm what? It's not as if we are strong in ourselves. We should help ourselves by making sure that the things around us, they believe the same thing, they profess the same thing. If you are still with me, I say a very loud amen. amen. Hello, thank you for joining us today. We trust you are blessed by that powerful sermon. If you are blessed, please do well to let us know via the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. God bless you.